Angerona was a most ancient Italic goddess. She was worshipped in Rome long before the Greek gods came to this land. But we wanted to, to work on something which, which had some kind of raison d'etre for both of us. So we would each bring something from our own backgrounds to the project that we were going to work on. And after much searching, we eventually hit upon the rape of Lucris. Not to seducing lust, thy rash liar. I seek for exiled majesty repeal. Let him return, and flattering thoughts retire. His true respect will prison false desire and wipe the dim mist from thine doting eye. Shakespeare's audience would have known their classics, would have known the old stories, would have known Ovid, which was Shakespeare's favourite book. So what we wanted to do was unpack just some of the stories. Uh, we've looked at the story of Rea Silvia, the foundation of Rome, and also the story of Philomel and Procne. Those are the main things that we do in storytelling style. And she looked inside, and there in the gloom, there in a corner was, a, was an old abandoned loom, and there beside it, something that may or may not be human. And she looked more closely and saw that this thing was slowly looking up at her. We have decided that to put together two such different styles as storytelling and Shakespeare theatre and make it work, the only way to do so was to be 100% true to both styles and both arts. Therefore, the storytelling part of the show are 100% non-scripted. We improvise the text each and every time in front of the audience, and there is not one word in writing. But on the other end, the Shakespeare part, the bits of the actual rape of Lacris that we inserted in the show, they are performed in a Shakespearean style. Afflict him in his bed with bedrid groans. Let there be chance, pitiful mischances, to make him moan, but pity not his moan. The topic is basically violence against women and justice, social justice. But we didn't come at it from a theme-based angle. We went into the material and it was the material and a discussion with the material that led us into the themes. And the material itself is very rich. It's in places very contradictory um, and very complex. And to a large extent what we do is we just, we just let the stories speak for themselves. But again, death did not want her. And one day, she lifted her head and she looked around. And in a corner she saw an abandoned loom. We spent a long time listening to the material and trying really to, to listen to the voices of um, our ancestors who created those stories and passed them on and to the voice of Shakespeare that gave his own very personal cut to these stories. Stretched, give me your right hand and swear that crime like this will never again remain unpunished. 